But Albania is changing and advancing. And it is outside the capital where you get the feel of it. A four-day bumpy ride in a Chinese minibus was a revealing experience. This country was once the poorest backwater of Europe. Now it produces enough to eat for its two million people. Almost every square inch of this mountainous land is being cultivated. This is the St. George Albanian Orthodox Cathedral in 523 East Broadway, South Boston. It was partially built by my great-grandfather when he arrived in 1910 to Ellis Island, Thanasios Stavros, aged 40 years. This is the house they all grew up in, 230 West 5th Street, South Boston, a historically Irish area with my Irish grandmother, Phyllis Murphy. This was my mother's bedroom, and this was her at age 8. This is my grandfather, Naun turned Norman with brothers Percules, Daniel, and Peter. These are the empty remnants of my grandmother's home where she passed this past October at 91. This is the kitchen where she faithfully cooked for 70 years. Shall love um, what it was. Oh, about the cook? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's different types. Um, you make it with spinach and feta cheese. Uh, my favorite, which I don't know if your grandmother made it too often, was sauerkraut. Did she make the sauerkraut one? I don't remember. Yeah, sauerkraut is my favorite, I think. Uh, and that's a little different. It's made with oil, not butter. Okay, Rocky. Um, and it's just, you gotta, I know your mother and grandmother had to roll out the dough and make it very thin and put every layer with butter on it. Um, and then she made the filling. Um, and you know, then they would bake it and roll it. it the dough is the hottest part. You can get phyllo dough, you know, phyllo dough, you can get that. And then you don't have to, you know, roll it out. But it's not yeah. the same. It's got a different texture to it. I think when you roll out the dough like your grandmother did, it's got a totally more of a flaky, um, I don't know, like a like a pastry. Well, um, I think you made it with squash too. You, my grandmother made it with squash mm. and uh, spinach and feta cheese. And then I, I don't know if she ever made it, but I know they make it with sauerkraut, which is one of my favorites. Ah. Um, I'm trying to think of what else they made it with that my mother, my mother told me about. From what my mother told me that they used to uh, eat it during Lent ah. when you couldn't eat meat. So that that was something that they would make so everybody could eat it because they didn't eat meat during Lent. That was part of their religious thing. I was told that um, they were Christian and the country was really being overrun by Muslims and the Muslims didn't like the Christians and they were they were threatening to kill them. Hmm. So it was they were being persecuted because they were Christian. So and they were afraid, I think um, your great grandfather, who was my grandfather, was afraid that the family was going to be killed because they were Christians. Leeks are the foundational ingredient of my family's liqueur, a food heavily endowed with antioxidant, anti-diabetic, and other holistic medicinal properties. It is in composition sweeter and milder than an onion, robust, winter-hardy, and able to be grown in rocky soil. Liqueur is also made with vegetables such as squash, a nutritious and long-lasting staple that has sustained many communities, or even sauerkraut, a fermented food full of natural probiotic enzymes. Many different kinds of root vegetables can be grown throughout Albania as the southern and northern climates and soil compositions vary wildly. My great-grandfather escaped a country in flux. My great-grandparents were from Katundi, an incredibly remote area of southeastern Albania known as the birthplace of the first Albanian emigrant. Very few Albanian families live there now. My family has claimed that as Albanian Christians, they were forced to leave their village due to frequent Turkish invasion fleeing to neighboring countries such as Greece and France, traveling back and forth from the United States until enough money was made to make the move. By 1830, 70% of the population of Albania had been converted to Islam. Political fragmentation allowed the Balkans to be conquered by the Ottoman Empire in a little over one century. Due to their occupation of the Balkans, there are notable similarities between Albanian cuisine and other Mediterranean cuisine such as Greek. Turkey had an immense cultural impact on the Albanian diet. The Turkish call this food barek, referring to any dish that contains filo dough layers of wafer-thin pastry. This likely means liqueur is an Albanian adaption of Ottoman Empire recipes. The dish is enjoyed throughout the Mediterranean Balkans and Sephardic Jewish communities, developing their own unique interpretation. Albania is a country plagued by economic hardship and strife. Oddly enough, their adult mortality rate remains low, as low as many Western nations who do not face the same struggles. This is widely believed to be due to their Mediterranean diet, a diet composed of vegetables, fruits, oils, nuts, and fish. 
Though liqueur does not directly reflect this diet, dishes such as tave koshi, composed of lamb, rice, olive oil. This phenomenon is often referred to as the Albanian paradox, an example of how diet can sustain a culture. My grandmother is Irish, and despite not graduating high school and being orphaned as a teenager, she learned how to speak fluent Albanian, attended Albanian services, and created Albanian food. She turned a blind eye to the Albanian raki being brewed in the basement. It was not any of my Albanian relatives who made this dish for the household, but my Irish grandmother. Though Albania continues to struggle economically, and though many lead lives that revolve around simply having enough to eat, Albanians make food and diet decisions that directly impact their health and longevity. Someday, I will have the availability to explore the Irish side of this unique interaction between cultures, and until then, I will hone my ability to make this crucial and historic dish.